is we're using three medium, kind of they're bigger potatoes, they're red potatoes. I prefer yellow potatoes, but red works. They're a little waxier, so. They're made out of wax, pure they're not, they're wax. They're not made out of pure wax. Going to cut down this and then straight down after. Yeah, and if you don't like it, but I could always bake it a little bit. See, look, they're coming apart still. Bell peppery, just uh. Cut in strips and then cut. Yeah, just pull that thing apart. Pull it out of there by hand. There you go. Yeah, just rip them out by hand. The green ones are a little less sweet. These are a little more sweet, but that's it. And I love the green ones. So. We've been using these yellow and the red. I think I prefer the yellow. They always just taste better. Oh, that you... whole small onion, too. That's enough, right? That looks like enough. So that's probably pretty much only half of a bell pepper. A little we'll tiny bit more. It's really hot. Okay, we're using the stone pan instead of the... Uh, cast iron? Cast iron, because it just adds more room. I'm going to add some uh, that uh, extra virgin olive oil. Potatoes, right there. We're gonna do some fried eggs here in a second. And that. Scrambled for your wife. Oh, yeah. Oh, I might just do scrambled too then for both of us. <laughs> garlic powder instead of garlic salt because we've already salted it. Okay. Got you your butter out? And I have a timer I just set for about 20 minutes. Okay. But this whole thing is gonna take 30 minutes. Okay, you want to stir occasionally. Oh, oh, oh. Eight minutes in. I think I'm going to add the bell pepper now. So I have ten minutes to go. All right, I'm going to add the ground beef here. Oh, come on, get in there. No matter what they say, do not eat raw, raw meat. 125 is raw, not rare. Okay, finally, finally, again. Yeah, I forgot to smell it. Yeah, how many times have we just got something and then two days later it's just rotted to the core? Yeah, I I put it into to pure goodness, it's gonna smell good no matter what. I'm gonna start preheating this uh cast iron pan too. Okay. There you go. See? 
All right, got one minute left. So, all right, it's added butter to the cast iron. I'd say it's almost there. That's nice to say it might be there. Yep. Put more butter or no? Did you add a extra? About a tablespoon. Lodge comes very uh, pre seasoned. It's pre seasoned, but it's gritty. It works, so you don't have to do this, but I sanded mine down and I put a flat, smooth finish. As you can see, my cast iron is flat. It's like the cast iron of old. <laughs> and you can see it's just sliding around. I don't want to use metal on it now because I built this seasoning from the ground up. I don't want to destroy it with metal. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to get crazy with the pepper. I would normally keep this on here for about three minutes. But everybody doesn't like what I like, so. Mm -hmm. People say, well, we could agree to disagree. I agree, I'm right. <laughs> and that's it right there. No sticking at all. Is this mine? Yeah. I only want that much. Okay, give me the uh, other, other plate. plate. I don't know if that's any good. Do you want cheese? Oh, is that good? Did you smell it? Yeah. Oh, that's like five years old. All right, there it is. And that is done, finally. Usually with the sausage, it's a, a little bit of a leaner meal. Even though it's 80-20, that's still a lot of fat for that. We're doing breakfast for dinner right now. I don't know if you want to call it dinner or breakfast. <laughs> this one seems like it's a little bit richer, but it's for dinner time, so we'll see what it tastes like. All right, cleaned up everything. It was okay. I have some put away in another container here for later on, but the, the hamburger just overpowers everything. And I'm just not really that into hamburger. So, I don't know. Don't know what else to say. The one that we do with sausage, it just seems better. It's a little bit leaner. So, I don't know. I just didn't like the hamburger. It overpowered everything. So the whole thing just tastes like hamburger. The next cook I do, it's going to be with sausage. So. So, 410. Hmm. Anyway, I'm out.